Hey there, everyone. Uh, my name is Ryan Farmer, the uh, lead designer of Encounters Shattered Wastes. And I'm here today to do an unboxing video of the deluxe edition of the game. Uh, this is the edition exclusive to Kickstarter in terms of uh, the box art and the box you see here, but also um, some components that are in here will be unavailable to get for quite some time. Uh, some will eventually go up on our website for sale, but for the most part, like this is the special one. If you're watching this video, you kind of want to know what's in it. It's been a while to get here, but we we're so excited to show it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this guy up and I'm going to explain sort of how it comes in and like what's in it. And um, it, this is basically what you will get in this box um, when it arrives at your door. Um, if you are one of our standard edition buyers, um, I'll explain what is in this box that's not in the standard edition, and then, uh, yeah, you, then you'll know. And then I'll show off the box art of the regular edition later and a couple other cool side goodies. So let's get to it. So this, here's the box. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it is a kind of glossed, um, yeah, here it is here. And then the logo itself, you can see how shiny it is right there. Uh, it, lo it looks really, really good in person. This, this, um, the Lancer on here looks incredible. And so we're just gonna work our way here. The box comes and then exclusive to the deluxe edition is this inside box art. So you've got the shattered Lancer sort of on the inside here. Uh, so we'll move that top out of the way. Um, and then here's the rule book for encounters shattered wastes. Uh, it's, it, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty chunky. Uh, this is all available digitally online, but, um, what we really like about it is it's got these, uh, read these rules first right here on the left, read these rules first. Uh, it's in these red boxes. And so the first time you play every time you're going to want to read each one of these red boxes. And you don't have to read literally any of the other rules, just read the red boxes, and then it will kind of explain your first time playing. And then if you need the additional rules there, you know, everything is right near it. Uh, we love this rule book. And of course, the, the best part is, you know, scanning this QR code to get to our music, which our composer, Dion Morales, is working on right now. So we'll put that off to the side. Um, underneath that, we've got some of our punch board. Actually, we're missing one of the punch here from when I opened it earlier, but um, in this punch board, you've got a couple of our enemies here, our tracking token, of course, our character trackers. And something you'll notice is we actually went with a final design to give four different colors to the character trackers. Um, the color doesn't really matter at all, but kind of harkens back to those old JRPG days where you could change the color of your menu so you get the kind of the classic blue gradient, but then some like other options too, if you're sort of feeling that. More standees here. They all look really great. Our pixel artist was absolutely incredible. Lots of really cool stuff there. Um, some more enemies. You got the fronts and backs of them, so that's amazing. And then, this probably should have been under the rule book. I think it will be in your thing. I'm going to put it back backwards. This is our journey mode. So this is our more campaign based, um, more our more campaign based story structure, I suppose. So you can play the game just on its own, like a round of uh, fight a bad guy, call yourself done. But if you want something a little more structured, we've included this journey mode. Uh, those rules are available online too, if you want to read through that. We've got recommended loadouts here. And so in journey mode, you, you pick your loadout and then you fight each boss in sequence. So like here you fight the guardian and then you kind of go in sequence and you track your stats and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's got a bunch of extra difficulties and extra things to do. So if you ever feel like the game's getting too stale or too easy, lots of options there to make it more difficult for yourself. Um, okay, next up we have the board. 
the board itself. Um, this is really nice uh, linen, wrapped edges, matte paper. We worked really hard to make sure that this board was gonna look the best it possibly can be for you guys. Um, and we're just ecstatic, so, uh, ecstatic about it. It looks so good. Um, enemy will go here and then characters will go here. And then it is double-sided. So there's no inherent difference in how the game functions based on the two boards, but you do have different artwork. Uh, this is the Throne of the First Chosen. This was unlocked during the Kickstarter. So that's pretty awesome. So every game gets the board and the double-sided. Uh, kind of you see the, the, the Last King kind of back there. Uh, pretty awesome. The, we, we love how it turned out. Okay, so here in the Deluxe Edition, you'll see that I'm actually gonna rotate this around a little bit. Um, we had a lot of trouble with the insert, like getting it the right sizes and everything. Uh, Game Trays helped us out and we uh, eventually got everything all together. You see their logo here. This is where you'll store your standees and the cardboard ones fit in there great. Um, and you'll notice, you'll be like, hey, wait a minute, this is the deluxe edition, where's my acrylic? And the acrylic comes in a separate box and then you'll put it away in here. So you'll be, you can either have your standees or your acrylic in here and when all the acrylic is put away, it'll look like this. And it all fits all in here, all the stands. Um, so let me pull some of this deluxe edition acrylic out. So you'll have plenty of stands to stick it in here. Looking really sharp. Um, here, let me, let's get an Aeromancer in here. So yeah, the acrylic is exceptional. We love everything how it came out. Oops, sorry for the jostle there. Yeah, really good stuff. So acrylic will fit in there and the regular standees will fit in there, no problem. Plenty of extra storage too. We give extra acrylic bases in case you wanna have some stuff set up on the side. Um, for the regular, the base edition of the game, you can put the stands in here. Um, you can mix and match. We do have some silhouettes. This, this whole thing comes out, so you can take out your standees and move them on the side. So we have some silhouettes to sort of help you uh, start your, like the what baddies should go in here to start. Um, we're gonna do a separate video explaining how to fit your acrylic in here to make sure it fits all in in case you need that exact configuration. Uh, I'll probably make a diagram as well, just so that everyone knows, um, but you know, it's got the space. Uh, you saw it, it's got the space. Uh, next up in here, there's a spot both in the standard and the deluxe for the mat. Only the deluxe gets the game mat in here, but I'm gonna slide this off to the side for a second. And here's our neoprene play mat for our deluxe edition users. Kind of rolls nice and right out there. Looks, looks really good. Uh, the color is really, really good. We have the stitched edges for long-term care, long-term, um, survivability it rolls up fits in the box just fine so it's really nice uh here's the back side of it for the art so you get both art uh nothing's lost so really excited about how the neoprene play mat came out it it just looks it looks exceptional so we'll put that off to the side pull the box back here all right uh, let's look at some cards. So um, in a second, I'll get the cards out in um, better quality for you guys. But here's our stack of strength cards and enemy cards. Uh, so this is how the enemy will attack you and deal damage to you. Um, you've got all of our ability cards in here. This is all black core. So it's nice and thick, really durable. We've got some relics. And uh, location cards in here. Again, I'll, I'll fan through those in a second for you guys on the side and you'll be able to see more. Uh, here, more ability cards. And they all fit in these three spots in here. So the these cards will fit sleeved. The enemy cards will fit sleeved in here. So that's really, really nice. And then for the ability cards, we've got these three slots where stuff will fit sleeved, which is great. But also when you get into journey mode, we've got some horizontal slots if you want to uh, separate some stuff out even further. So let's say you've got like a loadout for your characters and it's, um, I don't know, you've got 
24 cards. You could separate them out in here to make sure that you know, kind of, if you go back into your journey, it's all ready to go. It's all nice and set. So that's that's great. Let's move these to the side. Um, here are our foil character cards. I'm trying to get the right angle. I'll actually pop these open for you. These are deluxe edition exclusive, so you won't see these in the standard edition, but we are just over the moon on how they came out. They look so good. Uh, here's, our, here's our guy, the Lancer. You can see that the light is really showing off how good he looks. And what we really like about these foil cards is that we spot foiled them so that the background is nice and shiny. But down here, this text isn't. So you have no legibility lost in here. And we just are thrilled with how these came out. They look so, so good uh, as a premium component for the game. All the splatters and just all the artwork in general just ended up looking top notch if you're, if you got these foil cards. So, all right, next up we have, um, these cards that are only in uh, this first print run of Encounters. Um, we only are doing this for our first run ever, the game, and only for our backers that did them on Kickstarter. It's really kind of that in the box itself is our only stuff we're saying is Kickstarter exclusive, per se. But we are just over the moon about this stuff. Um, we've got the Foil Crystal Elixir down here. Um, and that's really awesome. Again, we got foil in here, but still very legible with unique text on the bottom. The regular crystal elixir is still in the game and a regular back so that it doesn't impede with like knowledge in the game. Uh, so this says a gift to the first wave of brave heroes who ventured into the shattered wastes. This elixir shines brighter than the rest. So that's pretty awesome. But really what's re super cool is this alternate art soul fire blade relic card, all full foil. Um, the regular Soulfire Blade looks different than this. This is the alt art. Uh, and this one says on the bottom, only those who prove themselves capable of resisting pure corruption can wield this blade. So that's really cool. Only available for our backers, um, our first time backers. Like we will not make these again. So really excited about that. Um, in terms of our uh, the rest that's in here, um, Right here is where the character cards go. These uh, tarot slots, uh, it'll fit sleeved. And then this, uh, we've got reference cards in here. So the reference cards have your actions and walk through around. So that'll be really easy for uh, players uh, to kind of remember stuff without digging into the rule book. Here are our um, deluxe edition exclusive dice. Let me pull these out. Uh, actually, first, this is these are the three dice that come in every edition. Uh, the backers, you guys did unlock the marbled. And I will, after this video, take some close-up shots of a lot of these components that you guys can see, because I don't have a camera that's auto-focusing really well. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but I will take some separate shots to some and put some encounters music or something in the background for you. Um, so those are the regular marbled purple dice. But these are the six additional dice you get for the deluxe edition. And the six, the side six has been replaced with the shattered symbol, which is amazing. It's so cool. Um, so you get six of these. So really, you're, if you've got the deluxe edition, you're not hurting. So this little pocket here is really cool. Uh, you can fit, you can put dice in here, extra standees on the side. Uh, here are all of our cubes, um, all the cubes for the game. Uh, that, that you'll need for your stat trackers. And what we like about these are, um, we like this insert because it's got a lot of customization of where you want to put things, but you can also just fit your cubes right in here. And then the tarot cards will go over top. So you can put them in there. We also uh, give bags in the game too. Um, so you'll have little baggies, like, like these baggies come with the game. So if you'd rather just kind of store the, the store everything in like that, instead of using that little pocket, totally fine. Uh, the game comes with two of these medium standees for enemies, and then a bunch of these tiny standees for um, the heroes. And then the last thing is down here. These are where some tokens can go. You can uh, fit activation tokens or uh, other small tokens in here if you so choose, or if you're like me and just like throwing all the tokens in one bin and figuring it out later, 
they can go in like that. Um, so that's everything in the deluxe edition um, base. However, if you ended up getting an ad uh, the add-on dice pack, we do have that as well. So uh, that will be uh, packed in with the rest of your stuff. These are our character die uh, add-on. They've got these awesome dice. Each color corresponds to another character in the game. And then uh, that for that character, whatever number is their crit, uh, that symbol has been replaced on the die. So for example, example here's the Lancer. Example. Um, his crit value is five. So for this die over here, um, that side five has been replaced with a crit symbol. So when you roll it in game, you know, which is really useful and really cool. Um, let's, let's show off now Here's what the standard edition box top looks like. So for all the standard edition users, still gloss. Uh, the name is glossed on top, which is great. You got characters on the side, which is really cool. Love all of that. Um, and that's it. That's sort of the unboxing. I'll now just start putting things back so you can see sort of how easy it is. Dice can go in here. We can put these tokens in here. I'll put them here. The character dice pack also, um, if you're not using a mat, it kind of fits in nicely right there. Uh, you can take the dice out and put them in with the rest of these dice. The dice pack, even with all this stuff, will fit right in there like that. And you can still put all your character cards right on top, so you still have a lot of areas to kind of pack it away. Uh, even the foils still go on there. Obviously, if you start sleeving things, you start running out of space a little bit more, but it seems fine. Uh, we'll put all of our cards back in here like this, super quick, super fast, everything has its place. Um, your standees will go back right in here like that. We're gonna roll, roll this guy up. Not even, and you're using kind of the edge of the box to help store it, so goes in nice and flat. The regular board, if you're a regular board user, um, and then put the standees back because obviously you won't have this this standy cardboard when you're all said and done. But some people I know I'm like this, like uh, putting the punch back in every single time, so it, it has its own sort of organization. So there's still room in the box even afterwards if you want to like just punch stuff out and then re put your punch back. That's totally fine. Though I don't recommend re-putting back all the little tiny squares. Um, so that goes in there. More punch over top. Rule book. Rule book. And the box. Uh, and that's it for our unboxing of encounters. I'm going to show off a few more elements and uh, zoomed in a little more, a little higher quality. But uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and be happy to answer them. Thanks for sticking with us.